Hello, welcome to Computer Science with Mr. Hamilton. This is a GCSE Computer Science revision video covering section 1.1 of the system architecture for the OCR specification. First of all, let's consider what the purpose of a CPU is. The central processing unit is a key hardware component of a computer. It fetches instructions and data from memory decodes and executes the instructions. It can be thought of as a bit like the brains of a computer. So the von Neumann architecture is a very common design for modern computers that store programs and data in the primary memory, i.e. the RAM or ROM. Uh, these are connected to the CPU over a shared bus, which will fetch both the data and instructions at the same time. Although CPUs come in many different forms, um, they generally share some common components and registers. The system bus that connects the CPU and the memory together um, can be broken down into an address bus, which is one way, and a data bus, which is bi-directional. The main components of the CPU are the control unit, which decodes instructions and then controls the CPU based on whatever the instruction requires. The arithmetic and logic unit, which performs calculations and logical functions. And cache memory, which is onboard uh, CPU memory that speeds up the CPU by not needing to keep fetching instructions repeatedly from memory. Registers are memory built directly into the CPU. The program counter contains the address of the next instruction to be fetched from memory. The memory address register is used to put addresses onto the address bus when the CPU needs to read or write from memory. The memory data register holds data that is either being written to memory or has just been read from memory. The accumulator is used to store the results of uh, calculations and logical operations performed by the ALU. The fetch, decode and execute cycle. The program counter contains the address of the next instruction to be fetched from memory. This is copied to the memory address register and then the value of the program counter can be incremented so it will point to the next instruction to be fetched. The address in the memory address register is then put onto the address bus to be sent to the memory. The instructions and data stored at the memory address uh, seen on the, mem on the address bus are then copied uh, onto the data bus to be sent to the memory data register. The instruction fetched from memory is now decoded inside the control unit. And finally, the instruction itself can be executed. There are three key characteristics that affect the performance of a CPU. The clock speed, which is an internal square wave that's generated in the CPU, and this coordinates how the CPU operates. Therefore, the higher the frequency of the clock speed, the faster the CPU should operate. Inside of the CPU, if we were to include multiple copies of the core parts of the CPU, in theory, we would then be able to execute multiple instructions at the same time, thus speeding up the CPU. Commonly, we might find CPUs that have dual, quad or octa cores uh, inside of them. As it takes time to fetch instructions and data from main memory, uh, the CPU contains its own memory, which is a lot smaller and faster than RAM. But this means that if instructions are to be repeated, there is no need to fetch them again from the main memory, thus speeding up uh, the, the CPU. Embedded systems are systems and devices that have a computer embedded within them. Examples could be flight control systems or uh, home appliances such as microwave ovens, vehicles, the control systems, and entertainment systems, medical equipment. Often these devices uh, fit only have a single purpose uh, and the computer that's inside them may well be uh, much smaller than that that you might find in a desktop computer. Sometimes embedded systems also have safety critical requirements.